For this week's basics, we're going to be working with the tonfa. Um, if you have the old style police patterns, please use them. Um, if you don't have tonfa, then for now just check out the video, maybe order yourself some tonfa, and fuck knows what I'm talking about, let's just start. In this week's basics, we're going to be working with the tonfa. First of all, you want a good grip around the handle, and you want to be pressing the tonfa up against your arm here, so there shouldn't be any um, relaxed hanging here, but you want to use the little finger to press the tonfa against your arm, as if you are pushing forward with the thumb and pulling back with the little finger. From here we're going to start with a couple of punches. So left and up, right and pull back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can see that I'm not stretching this arm out. I'm keeping it relatively close to my body. If I have a weapon, I don't want to give my opponent the chance to take the advantage that the weapon gives me away from me. So when punching, keep it close to your body, we'll get to further strikes just now. Take another minute or two and just feel that you're pressing. So during the punches, if you feel that the, the tonfa is kind of just hanging there, fix it. Press it against the bottom of your uh, forearm and punching while putting pressure on that handle. For our next basic, let's look at two longer range attacks. So our punch we're going to keep quite short, close to us, but the strike out, we're going to swivel the tonfa in our hand, and if you cannot do this, if you feel uncomfortable with this in the beginning, just relax the arm a bit, release the tension, and swing the tonfa out and in, until you feel comfortable having that swivel that we're going to add to our attack now. So from here, what we're going to do, once you are comfortable with that movement, imagine you are giving the guy in front of you a slap. So you're going to take the tonfa, and from your hip, you're going to strike out at the side of the head. Could be the arms, could be the ribs, but if you can hit the head, um, it's going to finish the fight. So from the hip, Strike and bring it back under the arm for the pullback and then we're going to punch. Then we're going to take the opposite arm from the hip, slap, bring it back, punch. Then the other hand again, slap and punch, slap and punch. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep in mind we're doing standing basics. So if this were uh, moving basics, I'd be hitting moving in to strike. But first we're standing still, we're just getting the basic movements right. Spend a couple of minutes on that, then come back to the next basic. Right, our next basic, we're going to do the reverse of what we did in the second basic. So, we're going to bring the tonfa from inside out and then punch. So, the swivel is happening from the stomach out to the head and then punch. You bring the hand in and then imagine giving a back fist strike, swivel and punch. So, from here, right hand first. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, again, take a couple of minutes, get used to that movement, then come back for the next one. Our next basic is going to look at two different ways of doing the following movement. Now, when we do it, First, the very basic way, and we're going to strike from out in, from in out, and then punch. 
from out in, in out, and punch. After that, we're going to look at striking our own body and then punching. In my theory, whenever I'm hitting my own body, that means I'm hitting my opponent. Um, so it's a placeholder to teach you that if I'm impacting something there, which in solo trading there's nothing, so I'm using my own body to represent that movement, I'm hitting my body, and then it bounces off. So in solo training, you're learning that if it bounces off, you need to regain control over it. So this is what I see as that part of the exercise when we're going to strike our body and then come back. Let's look at the basic one first. That is a great way of teaching you good control over the tonfa. So from here, from out in, from in out, and punch. Out to in and punch. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one's an excellent way of practicing if I miss. I can regain control over the movement. It's not going to go, uh, I miss and it stops halfway. Or I miss and it goes halfway through. I can control the tonfa where I want it to end. Let's look at the second part of that basic. So now, the outstrike impacts, then come back. Punch. Outstrike impacts, and then come back. So now imagine you don't miss, but you hit your target. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, of course, you can do this under the arm as well. The idea is not to hit your elbow, the idea is just to teach you touch and control. Spend a couple of minutes on both those versions, then come back for the next one. Our next exercise is going to require even more control over the tonfa than the previous ones. So what I want to do now is I want to strike, but I want to stop with the tonfa extended. Then I want to do my strike or my jab, and then I want to bring the tonfa back. I want to bring the tonfa out. The moment it is extended in front, I want to poke my opponent in the eye and either bring it in to the front, uh, to the center, or Inward or outward? So, let's practice. We start slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you can see, sometimes I bring it from the from the outside in, and then I jab, and other times I bring it from the inside out, and then I jab. The whole idea is to stop in the middle using either of those two swiveling techniques we did earlier. Our next basic, we're going to look at a figure eight strike, and this is where you are trying to impact between the head and the shoulder, so in this crook of the neck here. So from this position, from outside, you're striking at a 45 degree angle. Down, loop on this side. As you can see at this point, my hand's on the inside. I bring it around. Now my knuckles are down, hands on the inside again. I'm striking again into the crook of the neck. I bring it back and I give the punch. Let's look at the other hand. I'm swiveling it from outside, 45 degrees down. And then other side, down. See how I loop my hand here? Then I bring it in. And I punch. Let's go slowly through it. So, one, two, punch. One, two, hit. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Practice that a bit. 
then come back for our last basic. Our last basic that we are going to do for the ton for this week, we're going to do our 45 angle, then we're going to strike shulman, we're going to strike straight down on the head, bring it back, and punch. We're going to do a 45 angle, 45 angle, down, back, and hit. Let's go through it slow motion. So, 45, 45, down, up, hit. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, practice these basics and then come back for our self-defense.